Hello everybody, this is the part 2 of Canada College's new online learning platform. In this video, we will be talking about how to submit an assignment, how to take your test and how to check your grades. Submitting an assignment. Now let's have a look at this section. We will be going through two types of assignment submission. First will be by adding a file. Second will be online text submission. Let's click on assignment submission. Now you will be able to see the submission status, grading status, the due date, time remaining or last modified. In this particular assignment, the assignment needs to be submitted on Friday 19 June at 3 p.m. So right now the time remaining to submit this assignment is 3 hours and 20 minutes. So we will just quickly go and submit this assignment. You click on add submission. After that it will lead you to the page where either you can drag or drop your file or you can choose the file from your private files. I'm going to choose a file from my private files. I'm going to click on this button that says add. I'm going to go into my private files and then choose Canada College PDF. And when the file is uploaded, you can click on save changes. So now it will show you that your assignment has been submitted for grading. As soon as the teacher will give you a grade, you will have a grading status on it as well. So now it's time to submit our assignment number two. Click on assignment submission. In this assignment, we have to submit an online text and now you can see the due date is different from the previous assignment. Now the due date is 26th of June and we have to submit it by 12 a.m. Let's do this assignment as well. Click on add submission and instead of uploading a file, it will ask you to write a text. For example, this is a test assignment and save changes and next it will show you that it is submitted for grading and also with some of the assignments you will be able to edit your submission for example if you click this edit submission button it will directly lead you to the same page where you can quickly edit your text and save changes also when you submit an assignment you will also get a confirmation email that you have submitted your assignment. Taking test. Taking test on online platform is very easy. Here, let me show you. So let's do test number one. Click on test number one. It will directly give you an option to attempt the quiz now. This is what your quiz will look like. So in this quiz, we will be looking at different type of question that you can get in your test. So first is a multiple choice question. Just click on the correct answer and head up to the next page. As you can see up here in this section, all the attempted answers will be highlighted gray in the bottom. Also, if I don't know the answer of this question, I can flag this question and move on to the next one. And now my question number two says it is flagged. Now whenever I want, I can jump back to question number 2 and attempt. Question number 2 is our true-false question. You can select the correct answer and hit next page. Now let's move on to question number 3. Our question number 3 is short answer or a long answer question. So let's quickly give the answer for question number 3. Here it is. Now let's move on to question number 4. Also you can have questions with a sentence and options given. So for example, to select the answer for this question, click on the dialog box. It will give you a drop down menu and then you can select the right answer. And finally, you can finish your attempt. Congratulations, we have just done our test number one. At the end, you can submit and finish the assignment. A very important note, there can be few tests where your teachers can allow you to do multiple attempts on the same quiz but in this quiz there is only one attempt allowed I believe my answers are right I'm gonna click submit all and finish as soon as you finish your assignment it will give you the answers straight away for example the question number one the answer was income statement question number two the answer was true question number three 
is a long question answer and it needs to be checked. Next one, the answer was asset. You can quickly finish and review and it will show you not yet graded because one of the answer is a short or a long question that needs to be checked by your teacher. Now let's quickly do the test number two as well where it is all multiple choice question. Now let's quickly do the answers to the quiz. Here have a look at it. Now in the previous one we were not able to see our complete grade as this is all multiple choice question we are able to see our grade which is 4 out of 4 hundred percent let's finish and review you can directly see your grade up here so let's look at the grades so whenever you are in your course and you want to see your grades and click on grades and here it is remember we submitted two assignments and we gave two tests all of them are graded now and it seems the score is 100% thank you for taking time to watch this informative video on Canada College's new online learning platform we welcome you at Canada College we would like to invite you to follow us on YouTube Facebook Instagram or we can scan this QR code to lead you to all our social media platforms.